Hey, how is going? Today I will show you how to download StreamFire app to your Amazon Fire Stick in 2025. The process is going to be super easy and will take you only a couple of minutes. And first of all, you need to have an app called Downloader on your Fire Stick. So if you already have Downloader on your device and it is properly set up, then you could actually skip this step. But if you don't have Downloader yet, or you are unsure if it is set up correctly, then of course you need to follow me. So we just need to go to a search on your Fire Stick, open that search bar, and just start typing Downloader in here. And as you can see, Downloader has already popped out for us at the bottom. Just click on it, and here is the app, which you need to get to your device. But then, after you got downloader, it is not over yet, because we still need to set it up. And obviously, to set up downloader, we have to go to the settings. So you open the settings, then go to My Fire TV, open it as well. And now from here, what you have to do is turn on the developer options. But on some Fire Sticks, and especially on the new Fire Stick devices, the developer options might be hidden by default. So if that's the case, and you cannot find developer options anywhere, then no need to worry, because it's pretty easy to make them appear. Just go to About, select Fire TV Stick, and now what you have to do is start clicking on the middle button on your remote, and do it fast, so let's do it. And as you can see, now for me at the bottom, it says, no need, you are already a developer. That's in my case. And in your case, it's gonna say that you have become a developer now. So if you go back a bit, you will now finally see developer options. Open them, make sure to turn on the ADB debugging, then go to install unknown apps. And from here, all you have to do is just locate the loader, there it is, and turn that option on. So, what it does, it's going to allow you to install other applications from the internet, and not necessarily only those apps, which are only available in your official Amazon App Store by default. And that's exactly what we're gonna do right now. And now, let's go back to a list of apps in your device. Here it is, we open it, and here is the downloader which is set up and ready to use on your device. But before actually using Downloader, there is one more thing, which I always recommend doing. And it's of course connecting to a VPN. In my case, I mostly use NordVPN, because they are super fast, they got a great app for Fire Sticks, Android TVs, phones, laptops, or pretty much any other device you may use, and they are not expensive for such a premium service. In fact, they cost less than a cup of coffee per month, which is a great pricing for us, the users. And all you have to do in a VPN app is just connect to any server, let's say I will connect to Latvia right now, and from the moment you connect, all your traffic will be totally encrypted. It means that no one can track you or snoop on you online. And that's really important, if you want to stay out of trouble. And if you don't have a VPN yet, but you want to try it out, then I do have a great offer for you. If you use my link, which will be in a pinned comment below this video, or in the description of this video, you will get 3 months of NordVPN totally for free, which is an amazing offer. And if you're watching this video on your TV or on your Fire Stick, then just grab your phone or your computer, open up a web browser and go to topvpnoffer.com. That's my website, which is going to give you the same amazing deal for NordVPN with three months for free. Or just scan the QR code, which you can see on the screen right now, with a camera of your phone. It works the same way, and it is also going to give you the same deal for Nord. 
And now finally, let's use Downloader safely. So we just get back to a list of apps on your Fire Stick, locate Downloader, and let's open it now. And now in Downloader, what you gotta do is you open the search bar right here. And now we need to enter a code, which is gonna be 8189868. So once again, 8189868. That's the code you have to enter. Then just click on go. And while it's loading, make sure to subscribe my channel. So you will get even more content about fire sticks. And now the download of the app has started. Usually it takes only a couple of seconds. Then you click install and wait a bit until the app is fully installed. After that, do not click open yet. Instead, press done because this way you get an option to delete the installation files, which you do not need anymore on your device. So just click delete and then delete once again. This way you will be able to save yourself some free space on your Fire Stick. And then let's go back to the list of apps near your device, open it. And now here at the bottom, you will find the Stream Fire application on your Fire Stick. So first of all, I would recommend you to click on the options button on your remote. That's the button with three horizontal lines, right next to the home button on your remote. You click on it, and this text menu will appear on the right side of your screen. Click on move to front, and this way the app will always be at the very top of your application list. And therefore, it will be way easier for you to access the app every time you need it. Just don't forget to keep the VPN connected to stay safe and out of trouble online. And once again, you can use a link below this video to get three months of NordVPN totally for free. Then just feel free to open the stream fire on your Fire Stick device. It might take a couple of moments. And now you get access to loads of amazing live sports and of course live TV channels. I just had to blur out my screen because YouTube doesn't allow me to show you the exact channels that are available in this app. But in your case, of course, it's not going to be blurred. So enjoy it all and see you next time. Bye bye.